Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. I hope you're having an amazing day. I am. I'm going to go to the golf course after I edit some videos, and I'm going to have some more fun because I'm on a roll. I've been playing some great golf lately, I'm happy to say. Uh, doing the week of work on my driver, on my wedges, on my three wood, now the iron palm. Pretty good stuff. Uh, I won all three closest to the pins on Tuesday, and then yesterday I won the uh, money round with a 34. So hitting it pretty well, making lots of birdies right now. So at any rate, I wanted to talk about the inside out golf swing. And that's, you know, as your elbow and your hip are coming through, it's like your body twists inside out. Uh, to really hit a good golf ball, at least the way the people that I admire do it. And today's video is with Terry Kendall. And uh, I was watching Peter Thompson, my main man from Australia, who has one of the most amazing golf swings I've ever seen. And I was, you know, checking out all these old videos of him. And there was the 72 Australian Open and lots of great golfers like David Graham, etc. But I saw this young man named Terry Kendall, and I'm like, he had the lead on day one at four under, and I'm like, that guy's golf swing is amazing. So I started trying to look him up to see if I could get more swings uh, to study, and it turns out I found some pretty sad news. Um, there's not hardly anything about him on the web. He was from New Zealand, and it says here, tragic end to golfer's life. Terry Kendall, who won fame at the age of 21, he beat some of the great names in New Zealand golf to take out a PJ tournament. And on Friday night, as he sat in a blazing car at a lonely reserve behind Auckland St. Luke's Shopping Center, it's unlikely any of the people at the scene had ever heard of him. Um, just an absolutely horrific and, and tragic end. It sounds like he was in a car fire. Yikes. So at any rate... The reason why I bring this up is because a lot of people have noticed that I've lost a lot of weight. Um, I'm back training as if I was a martial arts champion or a ballet dancer. I'm focused on my eating and I'm focused on my training. I'm going to the gym. I'm doing yoga three days a week. The reason why is none of us are getting younger, okay? I'm 49. I'm going to turn 50 in half a year. And uh, I lost my father in December, and I realized this is it. This is my go-round, and I want to make the most of it. And as Mr. Hogan said, make sure you stop and smell the roses on the fairway of life, for you only get one round. So at any rate, I don't want to be a downer. I want to be an upper. I'm going to tell you guys today's the day that you can take control of your life and your golf game. And why don't we take a minute to admire this great golf swing from Mr. Terry Kendall. All right, let's take a look at this golf swing belonging to Terry Kendall. Now we have a pretty standard setup. It doesn't look like his feet are too wide that this angle kind of can hide the width of a stance, but I think it's fair to say that his feet are about shoulder width, maybe slightly wider. So it's not like a mega wide stance like a Doug Sanders or Mo Norman, but it's not completely narrow. And uh, the reason why I bring that up is because we're going to talk about his head movement in just a moment. He's got the ball teed up pretty high. It looks like he really wants to launch it. So let's watch this golf swing in one full swing motion. Dang! Look at this handsome young man. He's like 22 here, something like that. He was tearing it up when he was uh, in his 19, 20, 21. So that's when he was in his heyday from what I can tell. But let's watch this swing and we'll break it down a little bit. He has a slight move off of the ball, and I think that is due to the fact that he is a little narrow. I would, I'd like to see him widen his stance just a little bit if I was working with him. But if you look at the pole behind his head, see he makes a move into his right side. That's not uncommon at all. Mr. Hogan, everybody kind of did it. But his lag is what is insane. 
So we're going to see him drop down and then drop down a second lowering, as Mr. DeFrancisco says. And look at him get under and behind this freaking golf ball with that right elbow bend. And he's got so much right arm. He's got the Hogan follow through. Look how straight that club head is. And he lets the momentum pull him up onto his left side. He almost, he kind of in the face looks like Freddie Couples or something. But let's watch that again. Isn't this amazing? Man, he slots that club so beautifully. So he takes it up right through the shoulder. Now let's watch the knee work. He's got a nice K in his legs right here. And he's he transfers his weight to his left foot. Boy, that club flattens out. Now he's in a position. He's got great hip depth, good forward bend, plenty of room for that right arm to work underneath. Now he's just ready to just drill this baby. Oh, yeah. Look how low that right shoulder is, too. He even goes lower through the hit. Man, to be 22 with that flexibility, I'll tell you. But he's got a great golf teacher. Whoever taught him to swing like this, man, he has got it going on. This is one of the best-looking golf swings I've ever seen. You know, it kind of reminds me of early Seve. That's what I'm going to have to do next is talk about Seve Ballesteros. But I want to talk about this transition. So right here, he's basically beginning his transition. You can see him start to make his move. The weight begins to fall. And he's just going to pull that club under. And it's going to square up down the target line. That's the, that's the trick. That's the magic trick is to square this thing up and slam it right down the target line. And I've recently made a grip adjustment that's helping me do this. It's kind of kooky, but uh, I'll talk about it more at length in the future. But I strengthened my grip a little bit, and it lets me get my right elbow under longer. A lot of the top drivers today with the technology have stronger grips. So, yes, it's true. I'm venturing into that territory. But only with my driver. It's a little bit of a different action than uh, the downward blow that I do with my iron palm strike, which has been very successful lately. So, at any rate, this is a wonderful golf swing from Terry Kendall. I thought it was worth a look. And I wish you the best, Mr. Kendall. Hope that you're resting in peace, and thank you for the golf that you gave us. But what an amazing golf swing. Okay, guys, I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Hey, guys, so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel, and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube, and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I use to become the golfer I always wanted to be. Now this video offers tons of insights that I picked up along the way while I was digging it out of the dirt. But if you get this video, I am convinced it will help you get to where you want to be in a fraction of the time that it took me.